<laughs> Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to install Google Analytics 4 on WordPress. So it's pretty easy, we just need to go to plugins here on the left and add new. And in the search box you can just type in Google Analytics. Now the plugin we're searching for is not the one from Google, it's this one. It's Jeff Star has 600,000 or so installations, let's install this one. Install now and don't forget to activate it. Now, if you have WooCommerce, then you would need to install another plugin. This one is just to track your website. So let's activate this plugin. Great, now if you scroll down in the settings section, you have now Google Analytics, let's click on that. And just scroll down here, plugin settings, let's click on it. Here's GA tracking ID. And now you would need to go to your Google Analytics 4. Let's go and see it. And now make sure it's GA4, yeah, that you've installed it. If you haven't installed GA4, then just follow the tutorial here, it should appear at the top of the, your screen. If you follow that tutorial, in a few minutes you'll have GA4 and you can continue with this tutorial. In any case, from here, you can come here and just type in measurement ID. And you see, this is my ID. So let's copy it and I go back to WordPress. Now I can add this measurement ID and make sure you have the Google tag selected. You can keep everything as default. If you know how to customize this, just go ahead. I think everything else can stay as this. And now if you save this changes, now if you need to double check it, obviously go to your website. Let's visit it and go to a page where nobody would visit. So for example, I'm going to just visit blah, blah. And that, that was expected an error. So if I go to my GA now, in the live data, so if I go from here, home, reports, and here in real real time data, you should see something in my case, because I'm already using the same GA ID on another side. So it looks a bit weird. But if I come here and scroll down, I can find the page, page not found data El Dorado. That's the other domain name I have. Now you have GA4 installed, but without knowing how to use it, you won't be able to get valuable insights from it and improve your website. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn the basics of GA4 reports for non-technical people.